See that green? Planet reflection. Dark blue. So it might see a planet on the right of the sun if we could see it. But you definitely see the green, which is speaking of the planet's colors. Electromagnetic magnetic activity. The dark blue over here. Up close and personal, huh? One, 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 one. <laughs> that was great. Hey, Fred up. What's up? What's up? Welcome to CCTV. Subscribe. Thumbs up. We're just on a little adventure checking out the skies. Hi, Chris. What's up? That's stalled and guys can't. You just never know what you're going to get installed. And I can show you a couple more. I haven't been here in like four or five days, but usually you can catch something really good here. Right there. Bam. See that little thing? There's a red spot right there. Just faded away. Usually you see the red spot up here. Last week we saw it move across. Okay. Pass. I gotta turn that off. That's why it's not turning off. Okay. Let's go one more day back. Look at that. We'll start at five in the morning. There's your red planet right there. And um, there's your red planet. I'm going to blow it up here. Yeah, I, I quit telling them anything, Tammy. <laughs> I just quit. <laughs> wow, look how blue the skies are installed and uh, something's going to pop out. This, this place is about 8,000 feet above sea level, so you get some good shots to planets. And a lot of you guys have seen my videos on Stalled and I've done about 20 of them. I've been watching this thing for two and a half, three years. And everybody tried to convince me the red spot was the light on the little church there. Well, guess what? I found out that's not a church. It's a restaurant. <laughs> yep, it's a restaurant. <laughs> hey, that's cool, Sandy, because my neighbor, <laughs> we bring him food. And he's like, hey, you guys, here's a pumpkin pie for all that food you brought us. And. I'll come over. I need a cup of salt the other day. He's like, I feel like we're living back in the 70s. <laughs> Let's so you never know what you can get installed, and that's why I'm looking at it. Uh, meanwhile, our, our orbs are still going, and our purple sky is still there with the pink planet. It's getting a little bit bigger, so I'm going to go there in a minute. 
But um, there's there's never right there, folks. There you go. Blow it up. If it'll let me. I think it'll let me. There's never a big blue right there. The zone cloud system. If you go back to about three weeks ago, I did a video, and it's just all one picture after another, just a big giant blue planet, real clear. But it is crazy stuff over here, guys. What? I gotta go back to that. Okay, give me a second. About fourteen hundred. Let's stop this. I'm gonna reduce my size a little bit. Let's see what we got. It's like fishing for a big eight-pound bass. Look at this. What in the world? That's that's insane looking. Okay, they're trying to hide it. I watch. This is prior. I like this shot. Watch this, guys. Bam! Where'd the sun go? Come on. <laughs> Come on. You see that? All right. Then it does this. I knew it was coming. Planet coming in. You've seen that green, right? I don't think I went back far enough. Look at that orb around it. Now, this right here, I believe, is a planet because that's the picture I'm trying to find right now. We'll go back to that later. But you see the purple, too. But I think we have to go back to like, yeah. This was fascinating looking. I'm doing I'm trying to get the biggest picture in the screen and have my controls over there let's blow that up pretty insane looking see the shadow is casting Big blue over there, just darkening the sky. And what time is it? One o'clock in the afternoon. Look how dark it is, folks. It's insane looking. Now, you're going to get a picture here. I think there's a planet right there. Look what's up here. What is that? Look at that. They're trying to chemtrail this. They were just doing loop the loops. Now, the next one should be the picture I want to see. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we're going to hang out here. Talk about that. Look at all the chemtrails. They're trying to hide that planet. Okay, don't mind me, folks. I'm going to put, put a camera out. And I'm going to get a picture of this thing. That's real deal. I'm not sure if you see all the devices I got up right now. I don't think you do. Let's see. 
Uh, no, you don't see anything I'm doing on the front of that screen. That's pretty cool. Um, so I'm actually taking a uh, bandy cam capture, screen capture. And then I'm going to get a picture of Facebook. I'm actually going to do some filtering on it, too. That'd be fun to do, wouldn't it? Might be able to do that. Hang on. <laughs> I just read your comment. I don't know. I stepped back at the back <laughs> office and I could read the comments. They're like about a half a minute off. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, you know, um, I collected all that stuff to do that video of my testimony about nine months ago. And I said, okay, God, tell me how to do it. Or I don't know. Everything I do here, I'm really instructed by God. But I'm going to take you guys. I'm opening something right now. Just because I am wired out for some reason. I think it's the Lord. I'm wired out because I've been praying and just uh, really just praying and working all day. But this is my new um, camera. I'm my new filter. And I'm going to go take that picture and I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do with it. That'd be fun. I should be able to find it pretty quick. Yeah, I definitely had a colorful life, Tammy. As people would say, you know, my doctor says, you go, you got baggage, buddy. I said, well, what did I say in my sleep for 10 hours on a double broken back? He said a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take all the fog off of this, guys. I'm waiting for my machine to come up. Once it comes up, come on, babe. It takes a minute. This thing takes a lot of resources. And I just jumped from 4 gigabyte of RAM to 14 with high definition uh, video card. And so it's pretty good computer. I'm having a lot of fun with it, actually. And doing more. Uh oh. Let me go forward and backwards. Let's go to the next picture. I'm going to go back to that. This is, uh, they're um, 10 minutes apart, so which way did it go? Which way did it go? That was 4.15. That's worth actually watching for a minute. I'm going to leave it up. We have 26 people looking at that. I'm going to do a little, web, a little web show on it. Oh, man. What day was that? Uh, they reset it on you, the camera. Yeah, I was paying attention, see? I'm going to do this. These cameras are hard to work with, but you get some really good pictures from them. There's a real shot without it being blown up. I'm going to leave that up for a minute, guys, for a discussion point. For the naysayers... They stopped doing all the chemtrails. You know that to me that when that happens, it's usually like, okay, the, the system's not coming to your angle, you're gonna see it. So they're not worried about you. But when you start seeing those chemtrails being laid, get ready. Um, I'm gonna start doing a time lapse. Um, I'm waiting for my my uh, program to come up. Okay, I'm up. Let me go get it. You guys are gonna love this. This might actually, if they would let my videos go, this could make me actually, let me try to find this folder. Give me a second. See, I'm using my new file, so I'm still trying to think where everything's at. Okay, I'm going to switch you over to my filter. 
Meta still be there. Let me come back. All right, now we're my filter, right? Okay, I make sure I get. I'm using one screen, so I bounce back and forth. So I'm not. Okay, that's some stuff I have in there. I'm gonna try to find that picture we just saw. If you look on bottom there. It's all the pictures I haven't filtered yet. Here we go. Okay, guys, got it. That is so cool looking. So they got some presets in here. Some of them are pretty lame. Let's do a green one. That's cool. Just going to do a couple of presets. But what I'm going to do actually is um, go back to the original. I'll show you this dehazer. Make sure you guys are with me. Yeah, you're with me. Okay, I'm going to show you what this dehazer does. Okay. Dehazing. It's a combination of stuff. Because this computer is good, I don't have any wait time like I did before. Look at that, guys. Just dehazing it. Okay, but I'm going to put it back to where it was, right? When we started, and I'm going to do the auto correction up here. And I just got this upgrade. If anybody wants to donate towards it, um, it was only like $39, you know. But right here, you have big blue coming in. And over here, if I could get anybody have Samuel Hoffman's um, diagram, see how we match on that. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit more on this thing. Show you what else I could do. First thing I'm going to do is save me a picture of this. I don't know where to save it right now. Okay, now I'm going to do is I'm going to denoise it a little bit. What's it doing? So far, that's just dehazing it right there. Give it a little sharpness. You don't need too much, too much sharp than the denoiser. You don't see what it does, but it really is. This thing's pretty smooth. If you look at the original, it's a little bumpy. And over here, and I watch you take the noise off of it. it smooths it right out a little bit. Anyways, that's some stuff I do fine tune, and that's about all I do to my stuff. Um, I can come over here. I don't usually touch the colors. Bring the exposure down. Man, that planet's intense looking. Is that red right there? The colors are bringing the colors out. Now take the auto correct off of it. Here's auto correct. It is blue is getting bluer. Man, that's intense looking. Up. That's what I say. See? Two planets. One huge. One a lot smaller. That thing looks so close, people. Wow. Let's try some. Let's see what kind of fun filter they have. There's a scary filter they have. Shoo. There you go. Apocalyptic looking, scary, psychedelic. I don't care for all their filters. I like doing my own filters a lot of times. Let's do something crazy with that. Let's 
Shit, that's some freaky looking picture, dude. My God, help us. Is that a spaceship or a planet? Come on, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna look at the chat for right now. See what you guys are saying. <laughs> kind of freaky, huh? It is amazing, isn't it? I mean, this filter. Um, it's pretty mind blowing how much it could really help you on the pictures. Now I'm gonna put autocorrect on it. See what happens, okay? So it's gonna bring the true colors out even more. True color is really purple. I didn't add no purple to it. And I could reset the whole thing. That's what we started out with. And I can go back to it. You can go backwards to every stage. You know, it kind of questions me if this is a planet. Because look how it has this. It could be the light cutting it off, right? But you see this right here? Like chemtrails, so it must be a planet coming down, coming down in the round, right? Yeah, let me move that bar over there. Watch this. See, right here, you can see. Now, there's some other things you could do over here. Um, these are fun right here. Purple, green, blue. <laughs> I don't play with this a lot. I should play with it more. That's, that's normal. You could reset it back to normal. Um, that's your tunnel bars. This thing is truly just a real purple. That green don't even belong in there, but the original color is like just real purple. Now, if you go back to the beginning, right? Look at that difference. So these by far, I haven't found any filters that are this easy to use. And this uh, amazing. Why do they let my channel stay up, guys? I don't think they love me. <laughs> yeah, it's like a... God bless, Kevin. Good night. Well, you've seen that purple planet here tonight, Kevin. That was like it, it topped off the whole show, which I didn't plan on doing. I just said, let's do it, you know. Um, I'm still going to try to take this thing apart a little bit. It's pretty much what it's going to be, that thing right there. Thank you, Richard. Yeah. You know, I actually, when I do pray, sometimes, I'll, Lord, you know, I feel like, go go show people stuff. And I go, what? Show them what? I said, I'll make a deal. Show me something like that. You know, show me something big like that that's non-disputable. And, of course, you could say these up here are big, but nobody believes it that big. It'll hit the earth. But then if you see that, that's kind of mind-blowing. Anyways, I'll probably cut this section of the video out and make it just a separate small video because... People need to see that looking thing or whatever. I don't even try to call it a planet no more because who knows, you know? Okay. I'm going to go a little bit more on Stalden. Let's see what else we can find in Stalden. 
That was pretty interesting. Okay. Now, one thing I found out about Stalden too. Oh, I got that. Is that if you get something like this one day, don't be surprised. You can get it two or three days in a row at 14, 15, 14, 20. So I'm going to try to see if I can find anything close to that. I'm reduce the size a little bit. Look how the sun's starting to get that pink. What the heck is that thing? Yeah, I know God's ordained me to show you guys stuff like this. And I kind of argued with them about fear. And he said, look at Jude 23. It says, some are saved with fear. I'm kind of paraphrasing it, so don't don't get all religious on me. But um, I'm going to go look at what you guys said after I said that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, Sandy. I believe it, you know, and I, and I always say, like, you know, if God builds it, it's not going to be taken down. If whatever God does is forever, unless he wants it to come down. But like even this right here, guys, you know, I, I look at from your side on uh, the Kai-Fi sound here right now. So I'm watching from Kai-Fi, but it's on CCTV. But I actually see it different when I come on the live show. I have to mute my sound and all, but... um. But look at this, guys. No, that's the wrong one. Look at this right here. You could just see it right there. Now, close up, it's hard to see, but you back it off. And I don't know why people can't just see that outline of that planet coming down, pushing on the sun. We think. Now, let's go to the next picture. And we got the orbs again. We had them earlier. You don't really see them in this picture, but right there you see them. All that purple. Camera's really touchy, isn't it? See, there's a. Oh man, they have to reset it on me. They do that. They reset it right in the middle of you showing something. It goes about there. Not necessarily there, but look at the ring around that one. Wow. Check that ring out. So they don't let you take the pictures here, so you got to take the pictures. Here. What I'm doing is I'm taking another picture. <laughs> I can't, I can't pass it up, guys. Too cool looking. Scary, but cool looking. Sorry about that. I was just getting a good picture of it. I'm going to take it to the filter in a minute. All right. Moving right along. What in the world? See it coming out right there and on this side.
I'm just getting pictures of it. You guys don't see me doing it, but I'm getting pictures. I see um, Starshade, Sunshade. They have a different names for it. Starshade, Sunshade. Some guys were calling a planet a planet shade. They covered planets with it. So what you guys miss when you're not hanging out with me live, and I'm doing this on my own, I miss all this stuff I don't show you. Like I don't show you a lot of this stuff. I'm getting pictures, guys. Don't mind me. Enjoy. <laughs> Not easy to work with this channel, that's for sure. That's a beaut. That's a beaut. Let's go closer. Yeah, we're not living in the last days. What the heck am I looking at? That don't look like the last days to you. Nothing will. And people say, I don't see it. You guys don't see it? I see it. Yeah. Well, that's that star shade thing. Purple color is pretty nice in there. I got some pictures of these, but um, let me move a little along. Man, I got it blown up 30 big. 500 times right there. Oh, come on now. That's what I'm talking about. Getting better, guys. Getting better. Wow. I do this. I'm taking pictures of them, so... worth it so I'm just kind of working hardcore here now I know <laughs> Man, I can't believe what we're finding. That's a pretty good picture right there. I'm looking from your angle right now. No, I just keep blowing it up and getting me more pictures for the filter. We'll take a couple of these into the filter, see what we get. That's a beautiful apocalyptic sky, people. Wow. If I can get quicker at this. You guys getting this? I'm getting it. Incredible looking. Now, see, I'll get these shots like this, and you'll see me turn this thing into a slow motion movie. Because this is a phenomena. To me, this is phenomena. This is like um, a gift from God for you guys tonight. Go see what you say about that. <laughs> good night, Lane. Good night. Good night. I lost my music. I got so excited about this capture. <laughs> Now, see, I mean, I'm by myself. I don't show you these. I'm going to start going a lot of live shows like this. I want you guys to see a lot more than, than I'm basically I'm showing you. Because I don't, like, a lot of this stuff, I, this is really good. I'd put this together and show you. But um, a lot of this stuff, I just store it. And I get so busy, I don't show it to you for you. six months. Look at that. Come on, folks. Come on. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. 
I need some music, Maestro. I'm going to leave it sitting right there for a minute. Supernatural phenomena. Yeah, that that needs a good song. I already see the, the thing on it. It says, this is not fit for most audiences. That's what it says, guys. Sorry. If I'm real, at least I'm not a liar. All right. My favorite number one track. What is it going to be? That is not my favorite. There you go. I'm getting ready to go to the filter. You know, I'm like an addict, guys. You know, I'm like a planet addict. <laughs> Look at this, guys. How can you not say we're not in the last days? Look at the colors. This is colors are mind boggling. Uh oh, they knocked me off. No. Okay, reduce the size a little bit. Let me get a picture of this. You guys are hanging tough. Hardcore planet people. Yeah, with pictures like this, I guess you get a lot of patience, right? Caduce is sleeping. Well, you see how they do it. We caught that first planet. I'm going to put all this together in a slow-mo movie for CCTV. I might even put it on my other channel. But this is basically, when I'm hunting, this is what I end up catching, guys. And, uh, and then I create a video, of course. And God's with me. A lot of you, if you don't know it, um, I'm not really reading your chats. I am there now. Um, you don't really know it, but uh, I'll tell people flat out, I'm not ashamed at all, that it says in the Bible that we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. So one day I'm in prayer, and the Lord said, get the, more, the great cloud of witnesses are waiting for you. And I was like, what? He goes, they're not up there in the air, Chris. They're surrounding you. Hey, alien believers. What's up? Um, you guys, I think you have the ability to go back on this video and um, you can go look at the first last 15 minutes of it. It's pretty mind blowing, all the stuff we're catching. Okay, keep going. So, remember what I told you that you could probably go um, if you find one day at like 10 o'clock in the morning, you find something. Well, the next day around the same time, you'll find maybe even better. We're going to do that in a minute here. So, it's between 1,400 and 1,700 hours. This will be my last picture unless it gets better. I'll turn this into a um, validity video, and I'll probably show you how I did it. I'm, I'm going to start recording everything, because everything I'm doing is cloud skies, and you're going to see a lot of stuff. So let me go a little quicker now. I mean, where are you going to go? It's 2 o'clock in the morning, my time. Oh, guys, I got to get a picture of this stuff. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. This is like a research tonight. Wow. Look at the planets pressing down and on the right side. This is raw captures. No, no uh, scripting, nothing, no faking, nothing here, people. What you see is what you get. Just beautiful. Okay. Try to speed it up, but then it just sits like a kind of a normal sun. Okay, that's that was 327. Let's go to 326. And we're just gonna start from the morning and see what we find. It's like fishing for eight pound bass. Ready? There's your red planet, nobody believes in. People were telling me, Igor, Igor was telling me that it was coming from this light here um, <clears throat> in that window. So right there, he's saying that this reflection is coming from the light on this window. 
Then I heard from some people saying there's a light up here shining on the ground that's reflecting up to the sky. Now, and I've seen this thing move from here to here and have a tail, no tail. This has a little bit of tail that way you don't really see it good. And then I've seen it at nighttime, uh, blood red with a long tail with a small planet right here. So my conclusion is it's not um, that that snow and that light reflecting into the sky that strong. Nope. And not even into the lens. That's an actual planet that just comes in and out. We see it more and more. And as the day comes out, watch, it just disappears. So I don't know. To me, I think it's a planet because I've seen it move around. Let's go look at this for a second. Um, purple skies change. We got so caught up. And some of the black orbs are covered up by clouds. So I'm not going to go back there. I'm turning those off. We'll go back to Scalding where we found something. For a recording. Okay. I don't think they're going to, I think they're, I think they're abducting people, but I don't think the aliens are here to take us to some planet right now. I think uh, God's going to rapture the earth and they're going to use the aliens as a big, like, flag, like a false flag type thing to do war and everything else they're doing. And then the um, Antichrist is going to come on the scene. But uh, they're definitely going to use the, uh, I think, the aliens to say that the aliens took the Christians, not God. Later, Richard. <laughs> So I'm gonna just I'm gonna run through this stall then and I'm gonna quit because I've been on here way too long. It's been fun though, I'm glad I did. Let's see if it's see. It's about fourteen, remember? Fourteen hundred. Yep. We'll see if we see a planet again. Okay, see that right there? You guys see that, don't you? You get a picture of that. Just sitting around sneaking. Oh, reset. That's a planet right there, for sure. You guys are hanging tough tonight. Still showing, right? Oh, what happened? Telling you there and try to hide stuff like that again. Yeah, do all the whoop de woos you want. We see it. <laughs> You kind of see it, right? You kind of see it, people. I got to get a picture of that. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes the more I look at it different ways, the, the more clear it becomes where it's at. You guys see that? That's crazy. One difficult set of cameras. I wish they actually would change them up, but I'm 
kind of glad they didn't take them down like they do the Mexican cameras. All right, I'll stop playing around. Big blue. And green over there. And it hiding. Okay, we're going to do the 25th, and I'm going to bite you. It's been great, guys. I think we're going to find...